for one of the class, the same content is available. So we have here. Let me take a pointer. Uh, I think. Uh, oh. Yeah. A non conducting ring of mass M. Okay, where, where is that ring? This one. A non conducting ring of mass M and radius R with charge per unit lambda is as shown. <coughs> so there's a charge present only in this region. In this quarter, positive charge. Okay, and here a negative charge is present. Then I'll switch on electric field equal to not I, I cap is switched on and the ring starts loading without sliding. Determine the frictional force, magnitude and direction acting on the ring. Okay, what is our uh, the ring? Th th this is a ring. Let me show that thick line because once you see this is a ring, so rest all the concept of torque and rotation mechanics we are going to introduce. Okay, all of you are able to see this. Uh, this is a ring, not may not be perfect shape. <laughs> okay, I do have this is a ring. Huh? Then here the quarter circle is positively charged, and the other quarter circle is negatively charged. Here I'll switch on an uniform electric field. Okay, are able to notice here there's uniform electric field i'll switch on this uniform electric field strength then uh is asking to get the friction okay let's do one thing let me assume a two symmetric elements here one el element i assumed it here one element i assumed it so let the length of this element be ds and it will have a charge dq similarly i'm going to assume one more element here and it will also have a charge dq so here these elements <laughs> i'll shade it uh, because the colors dq charge DQ charge. There it is. Let, let, let me write all the things. It'll be easy for you. Okay, no. Okay, fine. I got all the things. Let me proceed with the, my explanation. I, I, I'm going to assume two elements. One, one element here of length DS. The other element also symmetric element, the length ds. So there they'll make an angle theta. These two will be theta. Then this is a negative charge, no? So how the force explained by that element will be opposite to the electric field. So the force will be in this direction. What about this? There's a positively charged element, so it will experience a force in this direction plus df and then this df acting on this positive charge element will be in the direction of electric field. These two elements will set up a torque about this point. How the torque will be clockwise by this uh, positively charged element. Uh, negative charged element, this also will set up a torque about point 0.2. It will also be clockwise. So the resultant torque acting on the ring will be clockwise. Okay, we have here tau e. Then after this, what is the net force on this ring? Plus df minus df. So what is the net force? Net force, in fact, is zero. Net electrostatic force, I'm saying. Net electrostatic force, in fact, will be zero. Then only force only that is acting is the torque about point two. Okay, let's calculate here. Torque due to electrostatic force. Okay, df into y. Y will be perpendicular distance. Then again, if you look at this triangle, uh, this triangle, you try to see this one. Uh, cos theta equal to y by r. So 
So therefore, y is equal to r cos theta. You can write that is what I wrote it here. R cos theta. Then, <coughs> then two lambda. So this will be two lambda. Two lambda d s. Okay, this d q is what d q will be lambda into linear charge density. Uh, the charge on this element should be equal to lambda linear charge density into length of the element. So this d q is what I am replacing lambda d s e r cos theta. Further, what is d s arc length? I think I need smaller pin. Let me take the. D theta, D S is equal to R D theta. So here, in place of D S, what will write R D theta. So therefore, the torque, electrostatic force. What is this about? It's about. Point o. What is point O? Center of the ring. Okay. Further, two lambda r square e cos theta d theta. Uh, where the charge is present, the charge is present from here to here, no? zero to pi by two. Uh, are, are you, I think the dot is appearing. The charge is present from what should be the limit? This will be theta equal to zero degree line. This is theta equal to pi by two. So what should be the limit? The charge is present in the from zero to pi by two. So the limit will be zero to pi by two. Uh, integral of cos theta sine theta, upper limit pi by two, and lower limit zero. Sine pi by two will be zero. So substituting that, I'll end up torque due to electrostatic force in this direction. What about the sense clockwise? Now, what did this enter the whole ring? Will expense it torque due to electrostatic force, and how it will be clockwise? So, therefore, the point of contact will will have backward slipping. So, because of that, the friction will act in the forward direction. The friction here will act in forward direction. Okay, now this friction will accelerate the center of mass. So I am going to write F equal to m a naught. Now, what is the total resultant torque that will be acting? Torque due to electrostatic force clockwise, and torque due to the friction will be anti-clockwise. F into R. Now, why negative sign? In in fact, the the idea is like this, sir. Huh? So the counterclockwise torque, I'll, I'll take it to be negative. So torque due to electrostatic force, we know this. I'm going to substitute here two lambda r square e r. Uh, what is i naught? I naught into alpha naught. What is i naught ring for a ring? What is the moment of inertia? M r square. Okay, then solving this, we'll get expression for acceleration of center of the ring. Which is equal to two m a naught r equal to two lambda r square e that one. R get cancels, so a naught is equal to how much? R e by a naught equal to r alpha. That that I substituted. A naught is equal to how much will be lambda r e by m. Then we know what is F. Who will accelerate the center of mass? The friction. So F should be equal to m a naught. So a naught is equal to how much lambda r e by m. So this will be the magnitude of friction force. So this will be our answer. Okay, I think I written twice. I'll take it out. Huh? Unnecessary confusion for you. So many steps. Okay, this is about the rolling. Just we are bringing some electrostatic force can set up a torque. This idea. This is what I wanted to just conclude here. 